All right, Virgo, this is going to be a reading for the sign of Virgo. Wherever you have Virgo in your chart, this reading may resonate with you. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node. Into the smoke, we release all energy that does not serve us, all negativity that surrounds us, and all fears that limit us. So it is. So let's get into your message. This is going to be, today is, what is it, June 20th, 2023. This is going to be for now, from now until the end of the month. Okay. All right. For the sign of Virgo, what messages do you have? Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high. You are welcome here. Please allow me to give clear and concise messages to the people that need to hear these messages. So you have the yoke, feeling tired, down, and frustrated, and then you have career. So some of you guys could be feeling, uh, I just heard lack lack luster when it comes to your career also single jumping cards only will be taken in my reading if you guys are new here welcome uh also if you're new here that is how i roll single jumping cards only um, a lot of times i do take into accountability though the other cards that fall if it's not a large stack so you have Romance is in the air and heartache over what you no longer have. And then you have the bouquet compliments from an admirer. Hmm. So I don't know if you guys are going through some type of heartbreak or um, there may be something that you may be still mourning. But again, there could be something new coming in with this compliments from an admirer and the rose. Romance is in the air. So let's see. What else do you want to Virgo? You got the claw. Be careful. Do not take any risks. I just seen the purse. Uh, pay attention to your finances. So this could be don't take any risks right now when it comes to your finances. Okay, what else for Virgo? What else for Virgo, please? Danger, especially in money matters. And then the cobweb, protected from negative forces beyond your control. All right, Virgo. So definitely be careful. Don't take any risk when it comes to money matters. I do feel like you are protected against negative forces beyond your control. However, you all have free will. So if you're like, don't be like, oh, the tarot reader said I was protected. So I'm going to go buy, uh, go on a shopping spree and go buy stuff that I don't really need right now. No, don't do that, okay? Uh, don't be taking any risks that you know you shouldn't be taking. Um, all right. Oh, you got the ring, but oh, broken ring. Parting of the ways in either romance or business. Yeah, so if you guys are parting ways, that I don't know if this is romantic or business. We did see that heartache over what you no longer have. This could also be a career that you're parting ways with, just maybe because you're not fulfilled there. Or you're just feeling tired, down, or frustrated. Maybe you feel like something here is a dead end or you're not getting anywhere. Um, Spirit is also telling you, don't take any risks when it, I don't know what this is about. Don't take any risks when it comes to finances. So this is like, maybe you shouldn't take any risks because maybe there's a career change in the forecast. Um, hmm. Heartache over what you no longer have. I wonder what that is. Okay. All right. So, Holy Spirit, can you please clarify this yoke for Virgo? If you guys like this reading or if it's resonating and you get some type of clarity from it, please be sure to hit that like button. If you guys haven't subscribed, please do so. Gonna give these cards a quick shuffle. Thank you for your patience. Let's see. Oh. All right. Let's see, feeling tired, down, or frustrated for Virgo. Why is this here, Spirit? Ace of Swords, Two of Cups. So I don't know if you've... Damn, Ace of Cups. 
Well, there can surely be a new beginning in love here coming in. I don't know. <laughs> or some type of a blessing here. Um, the Two of Pentacles is coming out. I don't know if this is something that you're going back and forth between. Like, I don't know if you're trying to get out of one situation and go to another situation. Spirit is taking you. Be careful. Do not take any risks. Let's see. Feeling tired down or frustrated. For Virgo. Oh, and the hair font. Page of Swords. Get more information. Okay. And the King of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus energy. There could be a financial choice or a decision here that you're trying to weigh, weigh the pros and cons of. You may be seeking out information from some, you know, government institution, some type of uh, yeah. there is a blessing here. There's there's a love connection coming in, but I do feel like there's a financial choice or a decision that you're needing to get more information about. Um, or some paperwork or some documents that you may need to look over. There could be delayed news surrounding a title or something. Give me one more, please. Devil and the Queen of Swords. Y'all can be detaching from something that you feel bound to. The sun. So there is going to be happiness, clarity, illumination about a partnership, about a love interest. This could even be somebody having an honest conversation like, look, you know, Someone here may just be like saying, like, look, I'm not happy, okay? Um, let me keep going because, yeah, someone here may be like making a decision. It's like somebody's getting clarity on their happiness on a love connection, a new beginning in love. I do see somebody wanting to communicate and do the right thing here. All right, show me career. What's up with this career for Virgo? What is up with it? Mm. The Three of Pentacles in the reverse. So you may feel like there's lack of support, lack of assistance, lack of help. You may be wanting to start something new or go into some type of new apprenticeship, go a different direction, take a different path. This may be something that you decide on suddenly. Um, that tower coming out, the Seven of Pentacles. You may be taking a look at all the time, effort, money that was invested into a situation, but... With the three of pentacles, it's like something in the reverse. It's like something here isn't working out. The chariot, cancerian energy, you may be, you know, determined to move forward to overcome some type of an obstacle here. Yeah, eight of swords in the reverse. The Knight of Wands, Two of Pentacles. So this is what you have that financial choice or decision about. I feel like you're trying to get yourself out of a situation that makes you feel stuck. Okay, where there's lack of support, lack of teamwork, lack of help. You may be, you know, kind of evaluating a situation. This could even be you looking at, like, I don't know if this is relationship or partnership. Maybe you're in a business partnership with someone. But I do feel like you're very determined to move forward. Um towards something that you're more passionate about or something that excites you. I see you trying to make like a balanced decision here to get out of something where there's lack of support, but you're also like evaluating all the time, the energy, the resources or something pertaining to investments because something here, there is a financial decision. There may be something that you need. This could have to do with like titles or deeds or assets, if there is anything like that. 
if it's a relationship, show me compliments from an admirer that you may be, you know, needing to, to balance out or, but I see you determined to do that because it's like, you want to go towards something that makes you happy, you know, brings you some type of emotional fulfillment. Show me compliments from an admirer, Ace of Pentacles. So whoa. you could be receiving like literally some flowers or a gift. The Ace of Pentacles is a financial new beginning. This could be a new job as well. They have the Five of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, mm. Seven of Cups. The world and the star in the reverse, Aquarius energy. Hmm. One more. Hierophant, Taurus, Aquarius. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus energy is out here. I feel like in order to take or give or to off, like either to receive or to offer some type of large opportunity, there's another situation that needs to be let go of. This could, you know, cause this could be what is causing this financial hardship. That's why spirit is telling you don't take any risks at this time. Seven of Cups, something here could be confusing or there could be like a sense of confusion or illusion. You may have, you know, need to explore your options or you may feel helpless when it comes to options. Like something here is wishful thinking. I do see like an ending to a contract here or a commitment. This could be as simple as like you not feeling like you're getting what you want out of some cycle closing. So I don't necessarily see a divorce or anything here. So it's like maybe you feel like um, I don't know. I'm getting like that wishful thinking. Like something here is wishful thinking. You feel like I wish that, you know, by ending this, I could get this, but I feel like you don't think that that will happen, whatever that may be. Be careful, do not take any risks. If this is you, like, expecting some type of, like, abundance from something ending ten of swords yeah like you may only get half of what you thought you were going to get or like there is a new opportunity here the potential for abundance but there may be like some type of financial pinch or setback that you may need like it's it's like um you can't just get out of something or end a contract or This is like not seeing something clearly, like the unknown or something. I don't know how to even say this. Ten of swords, so do, be careful. Do not take any risks. Yeah, something may end. Um, I don't know what this is. The ten of swords. Tell me more about it. Be careful. Do not take any risks. For Virgo. Damn, the ten of cups. Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups, how do you figure that? Okay, the Temperance, Nine of Cups, Nine of Cups and the Temperance, my goodness, Sagittarius, uh, Strong Pisces energy too. 
like what I was saying, there is going to be something here that like ends painfully or it's kind of a betrayal, but ultimately I feel like you're going to get what you want in the end. Like you will heal, you will uh, get your wish fulfillment, the Ten of Cups, you're happily ever after, but I don't feel like you're going to get like, I don't know what you're expecting out of whatever ending, but you're not going to get it. I don't feel like, but the end, but on the flip side of that, you're going to be able to have a brand new start that gets you something better. Okay. Be careful. Do not take any risks. So if you feel like you're going to get something out of an ending, I don't know if I see that happening. I see more so like emotional happiness, a, you know, a marriage, a happy family, but you got to get yourself out of, out of something that's like not working for you. Eight of Pentacles. So, the Eight of Pentacles talks about a good reputation, hard work, dedication, patience, okay, mastering some type of quality or a trade or skill, balance, peace, harmony. Okay, something here will balance out, but there is a need to like go through whatever this ending is. I don't know necessarily if it's work or love. Show me this broken ring. What's this about? Too many. I'm not taking all those. Show me this broken broken ring. Parting of the ways in either romance or business. We have a fortune and the four of cups. Single card spirit. We're not doing this. The strength and the ace of cups. Yeah, there may be a need to like hold back for to start something new. This new beginning is going to happen. I feel like you're feeling tired down or frustrated with something that like I don't know if you're trying to rush something because the Knight of Wands in the Chariot is trying to rush something rush something and then the Seven of Pentacles is something that's culminated over time it's patience there's a need to have patience here. Six of Swords, Six of Wands, Four of Pentacles. So Five of Cups. There is some type of sadness or regret. Crying over spilled milk over something here. Yeah, focusing on the loss rather than what is, you know, what is to gain. And that's kind of what I feel. It's like someone here is like focusing on the loss rather than what they're going to gain by, you know. I don't know if you're trying to rush something to go towards something else. Or if you're trying to slow something down. Broken ring. The four of wands in the reverse. So this could definitely be a marriage or a partnership where there's disharmony within the home. Disharmony within this. Like this is an unhappy family. Canceled reunion. Okay, leaving home, parting of the ways, a dysfunctional home falling apart. But the five of cups is like regret over. Page of Wands, well, there goes some some type of enthusiasm or excitement or plans. I don't know if you're playing. What are you planning, Page, Page of Wands? There is some type of good news here. Five of Swords, Seven of Cups. Single cards, please, Spirit. Ace of Swords. So there is going to get, there is going to be clarity or some type of a breakthrough. Good Lord, the Devil. 
Someone's cutting out the devil, cutting off the devil, going towards a new beginning. Maybe someone's going towards their past or someone's reminiscing about the past, missing someone, wanting some type of a new beginning. Why is the devil out here? Somebody could have been in some type of toxic marriage or someone's holding back score, uh, Capricorn Leo energy. Someone's finding the only thing that's stronger than this devil is the strength card. Okay, so this is like having the courage to overcome some type of toxicities or dark energies. Okay. Um, yeah, interesting combination. Um, so there's possibly still something here that's binding and I feel like someone's got clarity they're planning there is regrets here but someone's finding the strength and the courage to tame or overcome some type of like negative poor behaviors obsession possession controlling yeah to heal some type of toxicities someone's finding the strength to heal over some type of whatever that is, whatever's toxic and binding in, in whoever's life, I don't know. Someone will find the strength and the courage to, to overcome this. Three of Cups. So there could be a reunion or some type of celebration or a party. High Priestess, Pisces, someone could be celebrating in secret or using their intuition. And I feel like someone's secretly celebrating or reuniting with the Pisces, maybe, in secret. Page of Pentacles and Judgment. That card was flipped in the reverse. Um... Let me just warn, please. Thank you. King of Swords and King of Cups. So someone's making a decision here to go towards love. Someone's making a head over heart decision, having a conversation about their emotions, opening up possibly. This could be someone who's very cold. This could be someone communicating with the baby's mother as well. I don't know. Someone here is making a choice to move forward and have some type of a new beginning. Take that leap of faith. Take some type of risk. Yeah, chariot and these wands to go towards something new or to have a brand new beginning. Someone's determined to go towards something that, you know, excites them. This Empress, the Moon, Taurus, Libra, Pisces, Cancer, and invest into a situation. So somebody, somebody is strongly leaving one situation and going somewhere else. But I do feel, and there is like love or somebody's like gotten clarity about how they feel. This could have been some type of delayed commitment here, maybe due to something else that they were trying to get out of, maybe some type of a work collaboration. Or an investment it has something to do with career. This reading to me feels like it was all over the place, but show me the Seven of Cups. It doesn't have to make sense to me. It just needs to make sense to whoever it's meant for. Show me the Seven of Cups. I don't know if someone here didn't get what they wanted by exploring other options. Wow, Seven of Cups is Seven of Cups. Why did it, why? Or there was a lot of confusion and illusion surrounding what somebody wanted or wish fulfillment or some type of title or a contract. Some, something's being like... Five of Pentacles. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? The Empress. Somebody could have left an Empress out in the cold. Yeah, 
know, was someone secretly admiring somebody here? Someone left an empress out in the cold for a new financial opportunity, but it was smoke and mirrors. It wasn't what it, what someone thought it was. Now that's coming to an end. Queen of Swords in the reverse. Wonder what that's about. Somebody could have lied about something here. Um, lied about a partnership or lied about a soulmate connection that they were holding on to because they didn't want something to end or, you know, something to fall apart. Why is the world here? The star. Give me one more. Aquarius energy. And the Queen of Swords. Strong could be, strongly could be an Aquarius here, a Scorpio, Taurus, Libra. Um, someone's making a decision to go towards their wish fulfillment. What is their wish fulfillment, Spirit? The Ace of Wands, a brand new beginning, a brand new passionate beginning. Um, Knight of Wands, someone's taking action, coming in quick. The hangman, nine of pentacles, queen of pentacles. So someone here. <sighs> Someone's detaching from something and they're going towards someone who's single and abundant. I don't know where this is going, Virgo. This could be you, I priestess. Sorry, I just paused there for a second. My daughter lost her phone and I just heard something vibrate. So <laughs> I was like, got lost there for a second. Anyways, um, makes me wonder. All right, let's get a few cards here uh, for Virgo. Single cards only spirit. So we've got the Eagle Mastery. You are on a spiritual journey beyond the sky. Let go of the past and soar. You are guided by the winds, the spirit. Your wisdom inspires the world. So learning from past mistakes. Um, I did see that with the Page of Pentacles and Judgment that came out earlier. Uh, the Black Bear Guardian, gentle and wise protector. Give me your confidence and your power. Help me protect the ones I love. Awaken my intuition and guide me. Um, and the cat, independent. You are a natural healer. Your intuition is strong. You don't have to go with the crowd. Life supports you in every way. Yeah, so someone here may be going against the crowd or going against the grain or going against the norm. Uh, become, you know, choosing independence, self-mastering something here. I do see that someone's trying to like... I'm not going to keep going over this. Okay. I feel like whatever, whoever you are, you're feeling tired down and frustrated in a situation. Where there's no teamwork, there's no effort, there's no collaboration. You're trying to get yourself out of this situation. Because it's like you know what you want, you know what you want to go towards. But there could be something here that you may be trying to obtain that you feel like you didn't get. Or you may feel like there's a sense of lack. Or like if I leave then I'm not going to have this. If I leave um, I'm going to do this. Prepare for that because the end goal, the end not goal, but the end reality of a situation is wish fulfillment, okay? Um, yes, it may take some work, but I feel like your angels are supporting you towards this Nine of Cups, this wish fulfillment, but it is going to come with some pain or an ending. That's what we see in the heartache over what you no longer have. The Five of Cups and the Four of Wands reverse. I don't know if you regret something in regards to a family that you may have postponed or didn't come, like, It's like there's something here that I feel like you or somebody, I don't know if it's you or who, but someone regrets something when it comes to like family, home and stability. Um, but they've gotten clarity and they have someone's finding the strength and the courage to detach from whatever this is that was holding them back or restricting them. For some, it could have been a job that you're just not happy in or you were working towards something that there's you were waiting on like an investment on something but it's not working out. 
So it's like you keep pouring into something that's actually depleting you and you're realizing like it's almost like abandoning ship. It's like you see a ship and it's sinking, but you're still trying to like scoop the water out, scoop the water out, scoop the water out. And then finally you're just like, fuck it, I'm out. You know, if you just did that in the beginning <laughs> or, you know, I don't know, whatever. I'm sure you had a reason to do whatever was done here. So I'm going to leave this reading here. If it resonates, let me know. Smash that thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.